Oh, hey, y'all, everybody, and welcome to this week's Community Roundtable. I'm your host, Brett Harrelson, and today we're talking about the Partner Program Specific Feature Custom Branding. And talking about that with us today is Yansu. Yansu, welcome. Hi. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm so glad Hello. you're here. Yansu, this is a, a highly anticipated and super ex – I mean, the community is super excited about this particular feature. And mm -hmm. before we jump into it, I'm just curious. Tell us a little bit about – uh, how long this took and how long we've been secretly working. Give us some, some, some details behind the scenes. For sure. I mean, at the beginning, we thought it was like not uh, so much of a big project, but then we saw that it really involved so many people at Wix. We needed to involve so many teams. But in the end, we really wanted to push it like, like we wanted it to be a priority because we really wanted to do that for our partners. So yeah, after like a couple of months, here we are and it's ready. Uh, and, and, and I know everyone is super excited about this. So this is something that, that, I, that we've seen for a long time in the community is people specifically asking how they can custom brand their experience within Wix for their clients. So yeah. it's, I guess it's here. It's here. Yeah. So exciting. It is exciting. Yeah. So you've, you've got some presentations. So I guess let's just jump into it and tell us a little bit about what custom branding is. For sure. So how we did it, basically, our project in custom branding has two parts. Uh, it's uh, For the first part is to increase your brand recognition as a partner. So we're adding your branding in many places at Wix. But there's also another, a whole other idea, which is removing things that are not relevant for you as partners and are not relevant for your clients. So it's basically having less friction. And we did that in um, multiple, in multiple places. So as you see here, we removed the marketplace entry points since it's not like relevant for you or your clients because they're already working with you. Uh, also, we remo removed a bunch of banner ads and some pop-ups. So every time you would go into your account, I'll show you a bit later, but whenever you go in your account on your site dashboard, you usually see pop-ups or banners. So we made sure to remove those and also, um, we wanted to remove promotional emails or sales emails for, for your clients and also for you because they're, they're not relevant. And we really wanted to keep the communication between you and your clients. Um, so we really have full control. It's only you talking to your clients and Wix won't interfere in that. So if I show you how it, you, how it looks like, okay. So as I said, we have many places. This is just one example, but this higher professional entry point, we won't show it. This will not be shown for either you, your teammates, or your clients. Uh, but as I said, there's also many other places at Wix that will hide those for you. Um, also, the banners, as you can see here, it's a sale banner uh, that is actually currently on. So these in the um, in the My Sites page won't appear, and also on the site dashboard of your uh, agency created sites. Um, also, same thing as pop-ups, as I said before. And finally, we won't show any like sales or promotional emails. Just so you know, we're still mapping all of those because there's, we, we have a lot of emails at Wix, but we're really trying to limit all the emails that are not relevant for any agency or your clients. Uh, but uh, we're always trying to, um, to really tailor all the emails that we send. Some, some of them like legal or security emails, we have no choice to send them but all the other ones that we can actually block will do it. That's really awesome. So the first, so the first piece of this, uh, of the custom branding is actually removing a lot of the things. Uh, and I see this in the community a as well. Uh, and they've requested this and it's, and it's amazing because this is, so the first piece is removing some, it's move, removing some Wix branding. Yeah. It's okay. like really removing the friction so that the, the experience is frictionless for you, but also for your clients. And by the way, for those of you who are just joining us, if you have questions, go ahead and drop them because we have a Q&A at the end and we will we will circle to them. Sorry, go ahead, Yensu. Uh, so yeah, now that we talked about what we're removing, we can show also all the things that we're adding. So maybe I can jump to the all the places that we actually add your branding. So there's two use cases. There's what you and your teammates will see, but there's also what your clients will see. So we'll start by what you will see. So when you go on my site on account level, for you and your teammates, it will look like this. You'll be able to change, as you can see on the top left, you'll be able to change the logo in the header. Uh, you won't see the Wix logo there anymore. You can also 
uh, upload a banner, a custom banner, as you can see. Um, as you can see here, it will replace all the banners that we usually put there, and you can customize it. It's, it's just an image. You can do whatever you want. You can also change it as uh, as often as you want. And you also see on the top right, we'll have like a team icon so that all the people working with you know that they are in their team account. Um, now, if I drill in, if you click on the site, on the site dashboard, it will be similar for the owner and teammates. You will also have the logo in the header, the banner, and the team icon. Um, and as I said, there's another use case. It's for your clients. Um, on site level, it will be a bit different. Um, the only thing that we're changing is like for new customers that you will invite as contributors because uh, FYI, this is really important. The, the way to actually enable custom branding is to invite your clients as contributors on the site. So this is really important. Once that's done, if they are an existing client um, uh, or if they're a new client, things will change a bit. Here, as you can see, we removed the banner altogether for new clients. So any client that you invite that didn't have a Wix account will remove all the banners altogether. They won't be there. And on site level, it would be really similar to what we we see for the owners. The Wix logo will also be replaced in the header, and you can also uh, you can also upload a customized banner, as you can see here. That's pretty impressive. I mean, I think that's they. This is exactly what uh, the community has been asking for, Yansu. This is such an amazing addition, such an amazing yeah. addition. We heard it like we know it was super important to do. It's amazing. Uh, now the next thing I want to show, uh, it's quite exciting for us because it's the first time that we're doing this at Wix. We're actually replacing the free site banner. So you know it, all, like the Wix banner that we see on every free site, uh, the gray and purple one will be replaced only for co-branded agencies, uh, co-branded users. Uh, so once you pay for custom branding, every free site that you create, you'll have this banner instead of the Wix banner. As you can see, it's going to be on desktop and mobile, and you're going to see not the Wix logo, you're going to see the logo that you upload, so your agency logo, and you're going to see um, this website was created by, and then it's going to be the name of the partner. Um, and what's also really interesting is that you can add any URL to this banner, so whenever someone comes to your free site, they can click on the banner, and it's going to redirect on either your portfolio or your personal site. Um, and the reason we wanted to do that, Brett, is because we saw that a lot of agency would be like transferring the sites to their um, to their clients, but then they wanted to keep a version. Like they didn't want to have the version that the that the client would get because sometimes it would make changes and it wouldn't reflect the design that they did at the time. So they can now duplicate the site and create like a portfolio. So either use it in the marketplace or just send it to new users. Or new potential clients, so then you can have like a build, build new, build new relationship, relationship, create new leads. So I think that's really exciting, and that's something that that be super helpful for our partners. So let's just let's just recap on that, right? Because that's <laughs> yeah. that's that's a big one. So you're saying someone who has co-branding enabled on their account, every site they make, the Wix free banner is taken away, or the, the Wix banner at the top is no longer there, and it is instead their own personal banner? Yeah, exactly. So it's going to be a banner that is clickable with their own name, their own logo, and redirected to their own site. So that's super exciting. I, I think I just have to, I, I absolutely have to agree over here with uh, uh, Graphics Unique Design Studio. Wow. Just wow, right? That's what the, it's, I, I totally agree. This is this is fantastic. But but I also like I like one thing that you said, and I think everybody needs to take take note of this. And I want to kind of raise awareness. Mm -hmm. You said it when someone completes a site before you hand it off and transfer it to the client. If that's your process, if that's your flow, make a copy of it or duplicate it within your site, right? Yeah. And then you can add it to your marketplace portfolio. So when someone's browsing your portfolio, not only do they see your site, they see your banner. That is, that's impressive. Yeah, and then you don't have to actual, like, you don't have to pay for this site. You can just duplicate it and keep it as like a proof. It's really good, yeah. And your, really. and your advertising is on the site. I love it, I love it, yeah. it's fantastic. Everybody's super excited about that. I see your questions, we're gonna keep, we're gonna come back to them. Sorry, Yansu, everybody's excited, I'm excited. Let's keep going. <laughs> no worries. Uh, so yeah, a couple of things I want to show. It's going to be quickly. Like 
uh, how do you set it up basically? So it's going to be in the partner dashboard, the new partner dashboard. Uh, you're going to be able to go in settings, and then you're going to have four easy steps where you can upload. First of all, as you can see here, your own logo. This is the logo that's going to be used everywhere in all the headers and the free site banner that we just showed. Now, how did we get here? How did we get to custom branding? Uh, you go in the partners dashboard, the new one, and then you're going to have a settings uh, at the bottom here, and you can just uh, upload your logo. Okay, so partner dashboard and then settings, copy. Yes, and then you're going to have like a custom branding section. Um, then the second step is, as we talked about, you can upload your own icon. So this is what's going to appear on the top right of your, uh, of your screen, of your header. The third one is the banner. So as I said, you really can do whatever you want there because it's an image. You can just customize it as you wish, uh, as you want. And you can also change it as much as, uh, like, as soon as you want. So if you want to create like a kind of like campaigns, you can do so. Could, 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 could a partner advertise here? For example, let's say this week, this week I'm running a sale on, on custom logo design. Could I turn that into a advertisement banner for my clients? For sure, for sure. Since it's so easy to change, you can do whatever you want, and uh, you're really like uh, in charge of uh, your communications with your clients. So you can do whatever you want. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, and then the last step is um, like changing the URL of the free site banner. So as you can see here, it's the same logo that you uploaded for the header that goes there. But then you can link to any URL. As I said before, you can just write any uh, any website link, and then it's gonna redirect to that link whenever you click on the banner. So that's the last step. Um, and just before we jump to questions, there are like just uh, two things that I want to highlight. That's important to know. Is the first thing is I mentioned it, but whenever you want a client to get your branding, you need to invite them on the site as a contributor. So that's the first thing. And the second like, uh, like important point is whenever you transfer a site uh, to another account, so let's say you transfer the site from an account to another account, then custom branding will be disabled. So you need to like stay the owner of the site to keep custom branding. Okay, so I think that answered a couple of people's questions. Uh, I know mm -hmm. Eileen earlier asked that, uh, do we have to be the site owner and the client a contributor? And the answer to that is yes. It needs to reside in your account and they're the contributor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that does not mean, and I, but that does not mean if you make a duplicate of that site and, and it stays in your account and you have custom brand and branding turned on, you'll still have that banner in your site and it will live forever. And that's the best yeah. way I think to, to, to start adding those marketplace portfolios. But that's, that's exciting to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jessica, you're right. This this is an awesome thing to offer the partners, and everybody loves you, by the way, Yansu. Everybody's excited. I'm gonna jump. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna jump to just a couple questions, um, and mm -hmm. I think well, if anybody has any, uh, now's a, a great opportunity to ask any. I'm gonna go through these really quickly. So, Lorraine asks a good question. I think you answered it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna circle back. Lorraine asks, how will you track clients that are attached to them or, or how is that measured? And I'll let you answer even though I, I think we did. How you measure? Uh, it's just basically you would check the, um, the sites that, uh, that you have contributors on them, basically. So any site that resides in your account or my account, any contributor that I add to it will always see my banners. Yes. And my custom branding, well, rather. Yeah, they will see exactly. I, I can uh, go back to the circle, back to the slide. They will see this. They will see a banner and um, your logo and header. And this is for every sites that are in your account where they invite a contributor uh, to be clients on their site. Copy. So another another question uh, Lorraine asks is, what about the clients who have the site in their account that they've already transferred and they still manage it? Uh, I mean, unfortunately, right now it's not possible to do so because how it works is like the mechanism and the technicality between behind it is really when it's in your account. Um, so right now it's not possible. Understood. It and, it, and it may be a thing where it's it's a moving forward. Now that we have this feature, it will probably change the behavior of how the mm -hmm. partners grow their clients and where they where the site actually lives. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, you're right. Like that was one of the, the goal because we also want our partners to keep a relationship with the client and like that they, they build upon it. So yeah, maybe it's gonna change a bit. Right, right. And I, I think that sort of ducktails into what Eileen was saying in the chat, how she says it seems it's best to keep the sites in their account. It may be, it may be your flow moving forward. Okay, I'll grab a couple more. Um, uh, Eileen also asks, is this for everyone or, or certain partner levels? And I, I, this, I'll let you take that one. Yeah, so it's um, anyone can get it, but it's going to be offered for free for the highest tiers. Um, of the loyalty program, but otherwise you can also pay for it if you want. Uh, it's going to be a monthly fee. Um, we'll give more details about that um, later, but um, the the two highest tier will have it for free. So it's Icon and Legend, and uh, if you're interested in knowing anything else, I think it's in your dashboard. Uh, and I know Aviva's watching. If you'll tell us where that is in the dashboard, or do you, Aviva, if you'll jump in real quick and just say where to find it in the dashboard. I found it the other day, but I don't remember. <laughs> so I, I think these are these are uh, really, really exciting. Um, and it's what I love the most, Yansu, is that is that what the partners have been asking for, we, we're really bringing this and we're taking it way beyond, I think, what their expectations were in the beginning. So I, I think this is great. I want to thank you for taking the time to sort of show us what this is, what to expect, how to enable it. Uh, and, and, and it's great because uh, one more question, when, and I, and I, when should we expect to see this? How, what's the time frame for this being enabled for the partners? Yeah, so it's going to be really soon. Um, we're hoping to have it like really, really soon. We're just finalizing a last, last steps, but um, really it's going to be uh, in, the next, in the next weeks. It's going to be really soon. We're just making sure that everything is working well for you guys and that, uh, yeah, we're just finalizing the really last point. So yeah, it's almost ready. Awesome. Thank you, Yensu. And Aviva, thank you. And thank you, Juliet, for answering. Where It's in the Partner Programs Benefits section. So that's where you can go and see all of this. Awesome. Thanks so much. I want to thank everybody for being here. Yansu, thank you for taking the time to bring this to us. This is critical and crucial. So thank you. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone.